Streaming live from the Philippines. I am Anton Israel of the Nicotine Consumers Union of the Philippines or NCUP. And uh, we are on our second and final stretch of our broadcast schedule here under the SCOPE platform organized and uh, assembled together by the Coalition of Asia Pacific Tobacco Harm Reduction Advocates under the baton and leadership of the great Nancy Lucas. Again, NCUP is very grateful for having uh, invited us and to take part of this magnificent live streaming event. Our program this afternoon will be divided, is divided into two parts. The first part will be a 20 minute introduction of our regularly, regular monthly programming called Switch Tayo. My co-host is Miss Jamie Franco and she will be doing a short introduction over the context and why we assembled such a program. And uh, she'll be doing that in, for the first 20 minutes and the next 40 minutes will be featuring a video of our most recent interview with Dr. Lorenzo Mata. Dr. Lorenzo Mata is a physician, a practicing physician who advocates the use of THR, tobacco harm reduction methods over what our most of our opponents are advocating, quit or die approach. So without much further ado, may I introduce you to my co-host, Ms. Jamie Franco. Jamie, are you around? Hello, Canton. Hi. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Thank you, yes. Canton, for inviting me here on your second episode in school. Mm -hmm. It's always an honor and it's always a pleasure to see you uh, joining me over a show. Of, the, of course, we have already done two uh, switch style yes. programs. The first one was played last Wednesday when we when Bubut and myself did a, or our first uh, episode here on Scope. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. with our, since you are the main co-host, my main co-host on Switch Tie, could you please give us an overview why we develop or how we develop this in the first place, the idea, the concept behind Switch Tie? Could you please uh, give us a glimpse of what we have done and to develop such a show? Yeah, sure, Canton. So, um, Switch Tie, this is a live stream show that is hosted by me and Anton, and we will represent different generations. So basically, this show focuses on exchanges of ideas and different perspective of an old school and a millennial uh, regarding issues on nicotine enjoyment while getting insights from experts. So some might say, why are we using both uh, languages like Tagalog and English? So, um, well, this campaign isn't just for local audience. We also cater... Um, international because it is an international movement and you know we want to make sure that we heard not just here in the philippines but also all over the world so basically we want to show to the viewers that this discussion will have a switching point of view as i've mentioned earlier from um, a, a tagalog proficient like ka anton to the ideas of a millennial like me on issues ranging from uh, conventional to modern from traditional to innovative so we want to make sure that uh, everyone can understand it. And the other point, of course, many would be asking, why the age gap is too wide? It's too far. I'm already good as your father or good as your grandfather for that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and why is that? Ah, well, it's because, Ka Anton, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, a lot of people, especially my my um, my same age as me have been you know facing difficulties when it comes to nicotine using nicotine and the other having difficulty switching in uh, less harmful alternatives so this uh show focuses on the rights of consumers to enjoy nicotine and why it makes sense to switch for the better and of course may i add if i may add you know yeah. um uh, I've known vaping to be a millennial product. Many millennial groups like you are mm -hmm. using, are already into vaping. Yeah. And uh, folks like me, the, uh, how do you call it, the old school days are still into smoking. But many in my group, the baby boomers are already switching, switching to using uh, THR devices. Right. And that's mm -hmm. a good uh, combination if we're going to combine 
our orientation from yeah. the millennials and the old school thoughts like me. And uh, we delivered our message all together to our choice audience. Of course, our choice audience would be the smokers who are into this uh, habit okay. of smoking. And we're encouraging them to try at least or to consider mm -hmm. switching to THR methods. Yeah. So uh, what are what are, what were the common topics that we discuss on Switch Tile? Well, Canton, the first thing that we've discussed is, of course, the reason why we we um, started this whole event. And I know some viewers were here yesterday, but for those who wasn't able to watch you yesterday, can you share with us again, Ka Anton, how did you start switching? Because that's the main reason why we started all this, right? Yes, I'm a smoker for 40 years. In fact, when I attended the, the last uh, THR convention in Manila, I was with Mr. H. Also, I, I met mm -hmm. Mr. H there, uh, Paul Dator and other uh, personalities. I was still a smoker then, and I didn't right. believe in THR really. So we, we at, the, at the entrance of the hotel, at the entrance of the reception, there is a sort of a manifesto be, that that each guest would would uh, sign, right. and uh, what what uh, to put there a simple sentence of what his thoughts about THR is. So I I told there I I placed there I wrote there that I'm still considering because I'm still a smoker at that time. Mm -hmm. Now, I, an eventful event came to me in 2019. I, I was hospitalized and it was quite serious and I've lost, I had, I had difficulty of breathing. So I was rushed to the hospital and I consumed tanks of oxygen. And uh, the doctor advised me, although the doctor did not say out, outright, no, to mm -hmm. stop smoking abruptly. It was not a quit or die approach because he doesn't believe that too. Yeah. Uh, it would kill me faster than uh, tapering with my cigarette. So that's what he advised, to mm -hmm. stop smoking as soon as I can, but not to stop smoking abruptly. But yeah. I still, I, I went back and I backslid to my habit of smoking and still consuming at least a pack a day until uh, I began to develop symptoms again, difficulty of breathing. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to switch to vaping. The first place my son is a vape dealer here in our province in our city so i get free supplies of vape and free supplies of juice so i have to live with this because my body cannot cannot uh, contain anymore i don't yeah. have any 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 i don't have the same strength i don't have the same recuperating ability you no know, to sustain the nicotine intake through cigarettes that i was taking or that I got used to for the last 40 years. I'm aging, so I have to find a better way to right. consume nicotine, enjoy nicotine in the less harmful way. So it's a choice. Or else, I fear that I might die early or behind or before my time if I continue enjoying smoking. <laughs> right. Okay. And, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yes. and I totally ag agree with you on that, Ka Anton, because uh, the advocacy, first of all, I'm not a smoker, but the advocacy resonates with me, even if I'm not a smoker, because the reason is that uh, I'm adv advocating this is I'm a, fa uh, I'm a daughter of a smoker. <laughs> I've witnessed, you know, how it affected my father's health. He was actually rushed two years ago in the hospital due to heart attack, and the doctor said it had something to do with his vices including the tobacco smoking. So I also have, you know, dozens of friends who smoke. And right now, uh, they're having difficulties quitting, even if they want to, because they just don't know how to start. And uh, they don't even, they don't have enough information. And if they have, some are fallacies, some are not true misinformation. So um, it is really important for us to, you know, educate them with the right information. That's why Switch Tayo is here. That's true. That's true. Because I also had the same impression about vaping because I could see or I would see vapors would uh, uh, inhale too much vapor inside and right. that that occupies or uh, gets into the remotest region of their lungs, I think. And mm -hmm. they would blow a, a, a cloud of smoke. So I find it more dangerous than smoking because in smoking, you just only take this as, 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 as deep as here. But mm -hmm. in so that was just just a, an impression that uh, most uh, I got most I got uh, that I got most from those I see 
vaping. So mm -hmm. I had the same impression as would many old schoolers would. Like our president, President Duterte, said that vaping is more dangerous than smoking because based on the vapors that that comes out, <laughs> it's too enormous. Uh, mm, it right. goes in a whole room with vapor. So if you're going to associate the, the amount of vapor that's being released with the amount of danger as per our presumption or assumption, then I could say, and I would say the same thing. But uh, with proper education, proper mm proper orientation that the that each of the people or that each one of us not only the smokers but also the the people behind the scene uh, the, the 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 family members supporting a smoker to quit should also be orientated on the terms of what causes cancer what causes the harm and right. which which part of the process is causing these carcinogens to be released etc cetera, etc cetera, that we have as we have all been advocating for a while proper information because yeah. uh, Jamie as you may, you you and I are very aware are, are very aware about uh, the men or the men and women uh, manning mm -hmm. our health agencies are also into this misinformation correct and Tantan, speaking of uh, misinformation I just want to share with our viewers because of this advocacy, I started to publish this news media website about harm reduction, and we, this is uh, what we call 24 share updates. So basically, this um, news media page shares news information and insights to enlighten the public on the role of harm reduction as a public health strategy and to provide inputs that will help consumers or industry stakeholders uh, policymakers, regulators, and the scientific community achieve meaningful dialogue that will result in right and just health policies for the benefit of the people. So basically, Canton, our goal is to provide accurate, relevant, and up-to-date news, feature stories, insights, and research findings. That's the most important thing that will particularly help smokers in their journey to quit smoking. Yes, yes. In fact, I, 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 during an exchange in the uh, chat, chat portion of the last uh, Senate hearing, mm -hmm. uh, where the uh, Senate Bill 2239 is being interpolated, mm -hmm. there was one comment coming from a hardcore opponent of ours. And mm -hmm. she said there that uh, stop vaping or junk vape law, because uh, junking it, by junking it, it means it is a pro-health, uh, pro Filipino. Yeah, I, I think I saw that. Yes, Gaston, So, yeah. so mm -hmm. if you just reverse, if you just reverse the situation, what is actually happening is that SB twenty two thirty nine is pro health and pro Filipino, as mm -hmm. explained to us by Doctor Mata, because uh, it is a choice that gives a gives smoker the option to stay away from uh, from the perils or the dangers of smoking, by which they don't realize that. No, mm -hmm. our opponent still thinks that vaping and smoking are two of the same thing. But right. let us remember, if the if methods are, are not the same, okay, that that the the delivery is not the same, so the the impact also is not the same. Right. <laughs> no, no two things are the same. No two things that are not the same will yield the same outcome. By which we don't realize that. And shows like this, Kaanto, the scope, the switch tile, we need this kind of sources because, because we don't want uh, inf misinformation spread to the public. Do you agree with me? And, and, they, oh, mm -hmm. and people like them are enjoying to spread rumors and exactly, <laughs> misinformation. Exactly. Huh? Imagine one doctor who is, who is, the, who is a very uh, uh, passionate about mm -hmm. uh, spreading uh, misinformation said that one drop, that a drop of vapor juice is equivalent to a pack of cigarettes. How could that be? Right. <laughs> How could that be? If I could fill my tank in five five times a day, or five times a day, and that's if that's equivalent to if that's equivalent to one pack, then good, no? Mm -hmm. Five times, five times, or six times a day. But uh, a, a drop is equivalent to 20, 20 uh, to 20 sticks of cigarettes. That's ridiculous, mm -hmm. right? Very, very obnoxious to think about. But uh, many, many are being led to believe that 
what the doctor is saying on television, on, pub, on mainstream media, is true. Yeah, that's but, why hats off to Doc Mata because he's been spreading, you know, right information about tobacco harm reduction. And in fact, I think it's our responsibility as well to present actual or factual rather science-based and impartial information on issues related to harm reduction. Correct, correct. It's not it's not only I, it's not only me or not only you, not only those who believe in the merits on the merits of vaping, but it's everyone's responsibility right. to understand. No, because the people they care might be led to more serious injury due to tobacco smoke than saving them out and uh, introducing them to less harmful alternatives, which many of us in the Philippines are not yet aware about. Right. That's why in Switch Tayo, Ka Anton, we, expo we aim to expose the lies and misinformation being spread by vested interest groups so that readers and viewers will discern what is untrue, half true, and true. <laughs> yes, but still a long struggle and a long way to go. It uh, is Jay a long way to go, yeah. It's still a long way to go. Many smokers don't tune to us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Many, many, many of the smokers, many of the smokers based or located in the provinces, in remote areas where they, uh, the only thing they know is to drink tandwai and to smoke <laughs> whole day and right. whole night. Uh, just to cope up with the life's uh, difficulties. Correct. So yeah. they don't have the internet and they don't probably, uh, many of them are not still aware. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, our our lawmakers here think that smoke, that vaping, access to vaping is as easy as accessing cigarettes in Sari Sari stores, which is not true. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so they have this uh, comparing cigarettes to vaping and they think that Everything is as common as buying cigarettes from a local Sari Sari store, which is not true. There is an entry cost to vaping, in which is quite expensive, really. So it's, okay. not, <laughs> so it's not as accessible as they think. So if mm -hmm. they say that it is very accessible to the kids, I care for my children, and I don't mm -hmm. want them to uh, vape as early as uh, age 18 or age 16, mm -hmm. but they don't realize that not all children could afford to buy it. Yeah, they don't realize that that selling vape is a a guarded or a um, what you call this that there are gatekeepers who would prevent these kids from accessing the vape itself. Of course, in cigarettes, the, everyone or anyone can access it, particularly in remote areas. So, as you as you're saying, here, I'm sorry. Yeah, so actually, Ka Anton, there are sellers as well. They, they are pretty much strict when, when it comes to selling vapes because they, they tend to ask um, their buyers if they're in legal age to buy the product and all that. So it's, they're very strict. It doesn't mean that it's, it's not like they, they buy a, a regular a cigarette that the minor can access. So yeah, they're, they're pretty strict. Uh, we're we're enjoying this conversation, but we're already four hour, four minutes left. Uh, we already we only have four minutes left okay. before we queue I'm on. Having our, so much fun. <laughs> uh, so any parting words and message that you would like to uh, partake? Well, Canton, I, I first of all thank you so much again for for um, inviting me here, and I hope um, our viewers. Uh, can resonate with everything that has been discussed all throughout this scope uh, event. And yeah, um, if you guys want to know more about Switch Tire, please uh, go to our Facebook page. It's Switch uh, NCUP. And I think, Ka Anton, if it's okay, we will just comment it in the comment section so that they can visit it. And um, we have our month monthly um, topics that will talk about harm reduction and we will of course uh, interview some experts about it because you know we advocate right information about tobacco harm reduction. Very well, very well Janie and we, we, we almost got carried away because this is the first time this is our first time to <laughs> talk uh, to do to do a show in full English. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe my we, 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 we have uh, uh, like foreigners watching, yeah. So congrats, Kat, and congrats to me as well. Okay. <laughs> We're talking, yeah. All right, so with that, uh, 
we close our show because uh, we close, but don't go away because uh, the, the next 40 minutes is very uh, interesting. And uh, we recommend it for you to stay on yeah. and uh, to watch it because the Dr. Mat Dr. Lorenzo Mata will give us with uh, is providing us the required information that uh, is quite stimulating to the mind. So uh, let's join the, in uh, Jamie. Join me and Bubut will join me all force in thanking, thanking uh, Kafra for this wonderful opportunity till our next engagement. We're just a PM away and uh, we'll do our best to do our part in our fight, in our struggle for THR in the world, whatever. So that would be all for us and uh, stay tuned as we play the next uh, minute, uh, 20, 40 minutes, switch style. Thank you so much. Till next Thank time. Welcome to the first episode of Switch Tayo. It is a live stream show about vaping, heated tobacco, and tobacco harm reduction. Our hosts, Kanton Israel of NCUP and millennial advocate Jamie Franco, will lead the interesting discussion about topics that affect millions of Filipinos. Kapulang Pilipinas, good morning and welcome sa second episode na aming palatuntunan ni Jamie Franco. Switch tayo ang natatanging programa dito sa Pilipinas na nagpapalawak at, at nagbibigay ng mga tamang impormasyon hinggil sa tobacco harm reduction. Of course, ang programa ito ay hatid siya nyo ng Nicotine Consumers Union of the Philippines kasama ang aking co-host, walang iba kundi si Miss Jamie Franco. Magandang umaga sa'yo, Jamie. Audio mo. Ah, tandali, tandali, Ayan. tandali. Oh, hi. Ka, Anton? Ah, good morning. Hello po. Hello mga kabik. We are back for another episode. Ka, Anton, it's been a while. Uh, yes. We've been very busy in the past few weeks. How are you po ngayon? How are you today? Uh, feeling great. Feeling great. Kasi ako ay huminto na talaga. Totally. Oh, that's true. Yes, no, ang huminto ako ng smoking and then nag, nag date na lang ako. Pero mm -hmm. na-entice muli ako. Uh, and then ginawa ko na naman, nag-smoke ako in between intervals. Smoke, vape, smoke, vape. And then last two weeks, eh, nahirapan na akong huminga talaga. Sabi ko, no. I had to give it up. Kasi kapag baka mamaya hindi na makarecover yung lungs ko, magkulat, mm. wala na. Dead ball na. <laughs> right, so ngayon eh, napansin ko na medyo bumabalik na yung aking yung shoulder ko kasi nagsimula nang mag-droop down eh. Mm -hmm. And then natakot na ako kaya full vape na ako ngayon. Tamang-tama naman ang ating panauhin, special guest natin ngayon ay walang iba kundi isang talagang doktor, a practicing physician. Ha? At uh, siguro eh, pare mo nang ipakilala ang ating uh, panauhin, Jamie. All right, Anton. Now, to introduce our um, 
guest speaker. He is a recognized harm reduction expert in the Philippines, serving as a resource speaker in local and international harm reduction forums and in the Philippine Senate and House of Representatives. He significantly contributed to the crafting of a national bill that if passed into law, will be known as Non-Combustible Nicotine Delivery System Regulation Act of 2020. An occupational medical specialist for three years and a half decades with many years working in both hospital and industrial settings. His commitment to harm reduction has always been integral in his practice. Now a concierge medical practitioner providing personalized home care in his city with a population of 90,000, including nearly a thousand cases of COVID-19 seen and treated. Please welcome the president of Quit for Good, Dr. Lorenzo Mata. Hi. Hello, Doc. Hi, Paul. Hi. Good, uh, Hi. good morning yeah, to it, you. How good are morning, you, Jamie. Are you, good morning, Canton. Uh, thank you for the very generous introduction. <laughs> mukhang, mukhang, uh, ano na ako, ah. mukhang elevated na ako ka <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, a very pleasant good morning to you, Canton and mm -hmm. Jamie. Yes. And to all your viewers, our viewers, okay? First and foremost, allow me to thank you for inviting me in your show. I feel privileged and honored to contribute in whatever way I can in this information drive on the viable alternatives to smoking. I wish many more of this, of this sort that you do. will mushroom in the future para dumami ng dumami at maintindihan lalo ng ating mga kababayan ang mga tama, the, the, the real science and narratives about alternatives about these alternatives okay. well of course mm -hmm. go yeah. go, go but, well of course um um doc we would like to thank you for giving us time because we know that you've been very busy treating COVID patients and uh, also we yes. would like to thank you as well for your service mm. yeah and, I, I'm, I'm really privileged to yeah thank and then kaya nga nang sinabi mo doctor yung uh, rightful information yung tamang information Eh, siguro hindi na kailangan natin i-elaborate pa na meron din pong mga misinformation pagdating po sa science ng nicotine use. Now, uh, I will I will pitch in the first question to Dr. Mata. No? But before uh, before I do that, eh, nais ko ipaliwanag sa ating mga audience na ang ating delivery or ginagamitin nating lingwahe ay Taglish. I'll be speaking more in Tagalog and ang ating uh, partner is sa English para magkaroon nga ng fusion. And no. ang ating panawin okay. ay maaari din pong sumagot sa Tagalog or sa full English. Although yung ating prinipir na question ay nasa full English at yan ay ating ipa-flash para sa ma ma lubod na, lu lubos na maunawaan ng ating mga manunood. So ang tanong ko lang po, Doktor, unang-una, uh, ano po ang gawain ng inyong pong organisasyon na itinatag para maitubid ang mga informasyon na tinatawag po ninyong quit for good and what it does? Uh, pwede, Kanton, bago ko sagutin yan, I would let, just like to make two disclosures muna, ha? Okay? Sige po, sige po. I will probably be mentioning products related to smoking alternatives. So I would like to express that I have no financial interest with any of such products, okay? That I'm not in any way connected or a representative of the companies that manufacture them. So I just want to make that clear. So, uh, okay. So going to your question again. Can you tell us about Quit for Good? Yeah, of course. I'll be happy to, to tell you about our organization. This is an advocacy group. It's composed of concerned citizens who recognize the profound damage and loss combustible tobacco has brought to society. We in Quit for Good advocate real, practical, and tangible solutions that seek to eliminate itong pinakama, pinaka una na nagkukos ng pagkamatay at pag sakit ng mga tao na combustible tobacco. Quit for Good is a non-stop, non-profit organization or a corporation that advocates smoking cessation through consumer education or on alternatives to smoking and fair regulation. And it strives to build a coalition among stakeholders in the industry and a neutral space in pursuit of the same. So, yung aming organization ay uh, malaki ang kanyang naitulong sa pag-craft ng isang uh, 
ang isang uh, vaping uh, regulation. Alam nyo, originally, this, this vaping is, is about to be banned by the president in the Philippines, right? So, uh, but then we, with the help of uh, many of our friends and, of course, us at the forefront in defending vaping and actively advocating its regulation, we ultimately have them regulated. And it's now being uh, finalized in the both, both houses of Congress. Okay? So that's the quit for good. <laughs> sa, may, may nagsabi sa akin noon, quit for food. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> for food. It's quit for food. Well, uh, doc, uh, not all doctors are supporting this kind of advocacy. In fact, you're one of the very few doctors who does. So I'd mm -hmm. like to know, why are you a believer in the concept of tobacco harm reduction? Oh, yeah. Uh, if you may allow, I'd rather rephrase the question this way. Okay, uh, Why did you embrace harm reduction principle in your healthcare practice or setting? And since then, why have I become a foremost advocate of it? Okay, actually for me, it's a no-brainer. The whole idea of harm reduction just sort of comes naturally in the practice of medicine. Mm -hmm. In a broader sense, it is actually applicable in almost all kinds of diseases. Harm reduction should be applicable in almost all kinds of diseases, in all forms of modalities of treatment for these diseases. Paano hindi po hindi ganon? Because this is, not, this is not a perfect world where we have solutions for everything, right? Or treatment or complete cure for all diseases. That's the sad reality. This is not the ideal world as we would like it to be. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we have a choice, a choice to make things better. And that choice has always been there. Harm reduction has always been there uh, for the taking, okay? Harm reductions are interventions, you know, intervention, our conceptual approaches aim at reducing the negative effects. Uh, and how do you call that in Tagalog? Reducing the negative effects of health behavior or diseases without necessarily removing or extinguishing the problematic uh, health behavior or disease completely or permanently. So in this imperfect world, I'm constrained to sentimentalize na yung mga nagsasabi na Sige na, kung ayaw mong, uh, uh, kung ayaw mong hinto, di mamatay ka, yung mga gano'n, no? They are absolutists and prohibitionists, have no place in our society. Human beings need humane treatment, compassion and understanding, not mm -hmm. stigmatizing or ostracizing them for behaviors or diseases they may not be able to control or get out from, or for which it may not be our liking, nga, kahit ayaw, ayaw natin eh. Kaya, Bahala kayo sa buhay niyo, parang gano'n. No? Harm reduction strategy, applying its principles, which is meeting people where they are, okay, is an approach necessary to deal with these realities. So as a doctor, as a compassionate individual to my patient, I just have to embrace this concept, adhere to its principles, and apply the necessary strategies to implement it. It's something like I can no longer live without it. Eh. Kanto. Parang kailangan ko na yung harm reduction sa buhay ko eh. Araw -araw. Okay. Amang, amang ko rin yung bahagya, yung aking no? uh -huh. So, harm reduction, mga sa dapat na i-promote talaga, particular dun sa mga kabilang sa pamilya na naninigarilyo. At uh, pumihit na, mag-switch na sa total at uh, sa tobacco harm reduction methods na ating pinalalagana. Uh, uh, harm reduction, ang relevance niya cannot be, cannot be gainsaid. No? Hindi natin ma-underestimate yung talagang relevance dito because you, you can just imagine how many smokers are there in the world right now. Okay? Uh, according, to, according to statistics, we have 1.2 billion smokers in the world right wow. now and we are, are are looking at about 8 million deaths per year due to smoking related diseases eight walang sinabi ang covid dito ka ka anton at saka jamie no? 8 million yung covid ilang million na namatay 2 years na oh, wait, of course we are not underestimating it or we're not, we're not 
trying to uh, pero you look at the realities top 10 na diseases na in the world are caused by smoking related uh, conditions mm. so how relevant can this be di ba? why can we not just reduce the risk if we cannot take them out of smoking so can we can once and for all eliminate that uh, these dire consequences of smoking i i i, I don't see any a, a small even irrelevance of what we are trying to to bring to the fore to the people to understand na, na the importance of what of these alternatives that we are presenting see that's that's exactly the reason why <laughs> it should be relevant no mm -hmm. Well, okay. right. Well, before we go to our next question, Ka Anton, can you tell us what is the quit or die approach? Because I mentioned ni, ni Doc Kadina. <laughs> and because I believe a World Health Organization is currently doing that, and I don't yes. think it's really effective na yeah, strategy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm na ako sumubo kuminto, no? Na sa edad 20, nagsimula ako 17. Edad 20 yeah. pala, gusto ko ng huminto, hindi ko magawa. Ay, uh, edad 30, every decade, decade, eh, talaga nagkakaroon ako ng attempt na huminto. Very recently, dun sa congressional hearing na inatin ko, person, person to person, face to face pa yun noon, yung isa sa mga anti-smoking advocate, sabi sa akin, huminto ka na. Ah, or, kung, kung hindi ka hihinto, mamamatay ka. Isa e, isip ko, mamamatay rin naman siya, kahit hindi ka na yun. <laughs> Pero, ganun yung ano, ang approach talaga nila, talagang construed na doon sa direksyon yan, quit or die. Right. Yeah. That's that's so sad. That's so sad. Actually. Pero napakahirap uh, gawin. Yeah, I know. Hirap talaga. Kaya mga approach na yan, Canton, I call it, I call it inhuman. Or inhuman. Unpassionate. Talaga. Or unconsumable. <laughs> Totoo. <laughs> what if the smoker is your family member? Okay? Your uh. friend or your relative. You just tell them, okay, go on smoking. It's either you quit or you die. From mm. it. If, if there's a way to, to bring to bring that person close to you to a more then, uh, less alternative why not you know? and then Jamie kailangan talaga ng sheer very strong impeccable determination from that person para niya right. mapagbukitan yun uh -huh. that was strong mindset po talaga no? pero napakahirap right okay but are there better options doc to the quit or die approach are there studies to back them up there's a preponderance of scientific evidence to support all of these uh, claims uh, that, that it is less or better alternative. Uh, actually, actually, uh, <clears throat> one solution, nga, the better choice is, of course, now is being presented. It's the electronic vaping products or what was originally known as the e-cigarette we call now vaping. Okay? So did you know, did you know that uh, the anti-vaping advocates are now claiming that it is actually the tobacco industry who started this this movement this this uh, product no it's not it's it was a, a user initiated consumer driven product ibig sabihin yung mismong gumagamit ng sigarilyo ang nag-initiate nitong product na ito you remember mm -hmm. onlink diba the chinese who invented the uh, e-cigarette he did it so because his father died from lung cancer and he is also a heavy smoker so he did that. That was, I, I can't remember exactly the year, but that's when this e-cigarette started. So it's a misnomer. If they say that it was the, the tobacco industry who wanted to, to who, who made this, so they could save their, they, they can save their business. No, it's not. It's actually, it originated from the users because they can no longer depend on the government or the health, mm -hmm. the public health has support on, 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 on them on how to quit from this deadly product. Wala eh. Four percent uh, success rate is no no good, no good. For a long time, it's been like that. So, so these are the better choices. We have electronic vapor products. We have heated tobacco products. They're all less uh, harmful alternatives for smoking. And Pero yun na nga, doktor, no? yung mga anti-tobacco noon, yung anti-smoking, pumihit na rin sila, but they are being represented by the same personalities. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they, are, they are being represented. Smoking, smoking. Ngayon, no, vaping na sila, yun ang kinakanta nila. Right. 
Eh, hindi nila exactly. naintindihan na napakahalaga ng flavor. So, paano uh-huh. po ito na natin na may papahayag na ang mga flavors na nakalakit mo sa mga beef juices na tulad nito ay eh, napakahalaga po, Doktor? Oh, flavors? That's one that's one thing again they're trying to attack because that's that's the life of that's the life of uh uh e-cigarettes and yeah. uh tobacco products. Without it, they know that it will go down. It, it's not gonna it's got not gonna work. And they want they want to keep the tobacco tobacco and the mint flavor lang those two yung dalawang flavor lang ang gusto nilang iwan. You can just imagine Tobaccos, tobacco, combustible tobacco has already those, those, uh, uh, hello? Yes, yes. Pa, we're here, uh, we're here. Uh, uh, combustible tobacco has already those flavors. Tapos, yun pa rin ang gagamitin mo lang sa e-cigarette. <laughs> You're not giving them an option. We're giving them fruit flavors. Why? Ito na naman ang nakakatawa dyan, Canton eh. Sabi nila, nakaka-entice daw sa mga bata yung fruit flavors. Uh, the, the psychology of this reverse, eh. if you are young, if you are young of age, gusto mo maging mature kang itsura mo, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. Feel mo. So you look for the mature flavors. You look for the tobacco and the, and the meat flavor. Okay? Kung ikaw matanda ka, syempre gusto natin mag magpamukhang bata ng kaunti, di ba? We want to look young and feel young, di ba? So, we look for the fruity flavors. That's why these fruity flavors are the ones enticing the adult smokers. Mali, no? Mali, they're, they're coming up. Psychology, it's psychologist, actually, yung psychologist na nagsabi niya, eh, na you don't expect the young to, to still get the baby f- the the candy flavors or everything no they want to look mature di ba kaya adolescent yan eh so so if you give them the mature flavor they will be more enticed to get it so anyway uh that's that's really an uh, that's really debatable in so many fronts and you know uh, they will always claim otherwise tayo naman we just tell them up front yung tama the science mm-hmm. the evidence and everything that's all we have to present you yeah. Well, aside yeah. from our advocacy doc, we, we also don't tolerate misinformation. Now, uh, we want to know from, from an expert like you, can you share with us some myths about nicotine and vaping? Oh, napakarami. Napakaraming <laughs> myths yan. Na. Well, undang-undang myths na lang natin yung sinasabi nila nakakamatay yung vaping, di ba? You remember what happened in the U.S. before? Huh? There so many who died mm-hmm. in the U.S. and they call mm-hmm. it a valley. E-vapor-associated e- e- uh, lung illnesses, di ba? You, you know, it's not true. They're not telling the truth about it. It's not it's not the normal, regular vape that's causing them to, to have this illness. It was the, the, e- the uh, illegal use of cannabis and vitamin E acetate that's causing all these illnesses. Mm-hmm. Walang ka, ka, walang walang uh, uh, involvement yung vape natin yung normal content of our vape okay so the, the misinformation na yan di lang mga fake news na nga yan at saka misinformation na kinakala mm-hmm. na it's, it's cause. now another another myth of course is that nicotine is the main problem okay La, noon hindi naman nila dinidemonize ang nicotine <laughs> nagkaroon na ng e-cigarette dinidemonize na nila yung nicotine uh-huh. so, okay for everyone's information nicotine has been studied for decades okay it has been established as more than just a stimulant or chemical containing nitrogen yan nga eh, brain enhancer nga yan eh. it enhances memory and is called neurotropic at times by the scientific community you know it's only now that it's been demonized because it is inextricably linked to tobacco, okay? What people are being told is nicotine is bad when what we re- they really mean is smoking tobacco is harmful. So there's a difference because the harm of the, the tobacco, smoking tobacco, is not the nicotine, it's the smoke. Mm-hmm. It's the smoke that causes all the harm. Nicotine has not been found by any studies, okay? present me any studies 
that has uh, that tells us that nicotine has caused cancer or heart attack. None, none, none whatsoever. So, so. so well, uh, itong mga with the introduction of uh, alternatives, uh, na ating ang kinikilala being mga uh, harm reduction methods or harm reduction tobacco harm reduction devices. Masasabi niyo po ba, Doktor, na ito ay magandang solusyon para doon sa mga quit or die approaches na nalalaman nila na yun lamang, wala nang iba? You mean the better options? Uh, yes. Yes. Better. Much better talaga. Because this now people have the alternative to go for the less harmful alternative. Biro mo kung wala to, or they, they, they stick to quit or die. Oh, quit or die ka na, 4%. O kaya bibigyan NRTs. Okay, let's let's talk about NRTs. Nicotine replacement yes, therapy. Yes. Are they uh, buying it? No, they are not. Yes. Why? Because because smoking is not only the smoking of tobacco. It's yeah. also the the behavior that goes with it. Correct. Okay? Correct. Now, if you just put a patch there and you still look for something that you do when you read newspaper in the morning, yeah. Uh, when, when, when you after coming from bed with your wife, Canton, uh, yeah. Yeah, then you slide a little cigarette. You still look for that. Eh? Uh -huh. And without those behavioral, physical, and psychological uh thing that you experience in smoking, wala patchy patchy lang yun ng gagawin ng patch dun sa akin, no? That's that's only part of it. That's only part of it. So, uh, Dagdag ko nga, Doktor, no, nung uh, sinasabi ninyo kanina ng very recent lang nila dinimonize yung nicotine, pero yung NRT, nicotine replacement therapy, eh, matagal na ho yan eh. Mga dekada 70, si dekada 80, wala naman tayong naririnig. Totoo yan, totoo yan. Thank you for bringing that up. You can just imagine sabihin nila delikado ang nicotine. Why are they putting nicotine replacement therapies over the counter? Anyone can just get it patch it up on their uh, arm, di ba? Di mag, mag, makasaya na kayo, mag, magdurog na kayo ng nicotine kung yun ang gusto nyo. Eh, hindi eh. Di ba? They are not, it's not even prohibited to, to buy over the counter. Ka. Yan eh. So, if they think that it's so dangerous, why are they offering it over the counter? Right. And, and that's, that's, uh, that's, that's how simple it is, no? Just to explain it that way. <laughs> okay, so uh, tayo ay medyo kinakapusan ng oras. Uh, Jamie, baka meron kang huling katanungan o uh, ay, itanong pa, pahabol para kay Dr. Yes, uh, at, at ako naman ay magbibigay rin ng isang pang katanungan. Okay, last mm -hmm. question from me, uh, Doc. What's next for Quit for Good? Ah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Actually, Quit for Goods is just a board winning organization. Nagsisimula pa lang yan eh. So we still have a lot to do and to accomplish. But for uh, for now, we believe we have accomplished so much already for the regulation. So uh, the next steps that we are, we, we will continue capacity building, okay? Mm -hmm. For our advocacy group. We will entice new members, which are actually steadily on the rise. We will also initiate local research and surveys on smoking. Alam mo, kulang na kulang tayo sa research locally. You yeah. only depend, depend on researches internationally. Okay? So we cannot, we cannot be so precise in our approach here or even in our contention here if we don't have our local surveys done here. And I think that is going to be a very important uh, uh, undertaking that Quit for Good is going to do in the future. And of course, we'll continue our education for smokers on all available options for quitting, like what you're doing now, Canton and Jamie. No? We, we do our regular live stream podcasting and media forum engagements. We will likewise monitor and advocate passing of the national bill on electronic vaping mm -hmm. products into law. And in this, in line with this, we urge the government to consider the best possible differentiated legal framework through careful review of the science and evidence presented on the matter. And they have to defend the right of consumers to make right. better choices for themselves. Okay? May meron tayong karapatan na mamili ng ating 
choice okay na ating gusto okay tama po yan and uh, uh tususukan ko nga po yung inyong nasabi doktor na in quit for quit for good is something really very good para dun sa aming tulad ng mga smoker and uh, just recently may naka usap ako no na isa po siyang heavy smoker tulad ko and then siya na unang mag-vape eh. sabi niya bumili ka ng vape ganun 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 ano and nung huli ko siya makausap some three weeks ago eh totally totally hindi na siya naninigarilyo at nakatulong sa kanya ang paggamit ng vape so uh, birang huling katanungan doktor Uh, bukod po dun sa ating sinasagawa ng mga information dissemination at yung ating paghahatid ng tamang impormasyon, eh ano pa po ba ang dapat natin gawin? At nang sa ganun ay eh, maipasa na itong ating pinakakabangan sa Senado, Senate Bill 2239, na ini-interpellate pa ho, eh nakakatawa nga ka mo. Dahil nga kailangan mo talaga natin ng local-based studies at sinasabi ng isang tagapagtanggol natin, eto, ganito, ayon sa public health, England. Eh sasabihin naman nung katunggali, Ayon sa Public Health England. Very confusing po yung mga studies na yan. Bagamat yung iba naman, eh, hindi naman ho, sina, may tuturing na talagang uh, formal studies kasi hindi pa ho na peer-reviewed. So itong mga ganito, yung palitan ho ng debate, argumento, ano po sa tingin ninyo ang talaga po maka, masasabi nating equalizer at nang magkaroon na talaga ng tamang direksyon kung saan tayo dapat tumungo. As a, uh, the use of vape as a public health strategy, doctor. Alam mo, Canton, alam mo, hindi natin mapipigil yan eh. No? Kaya nga, yung sasabihin ng isa, add dito, meron palaging sinasabi yung sabi la, no? There is always, it's gonna be a vicious cycle. Never ending yan eh. Walang mangyayari yan. There's just one thing that uh, I think everyone should know, really. This is not, this, this 8 million deaths every year due to to uh, is combustible tobacco is no joke okay it's one serious thought that not only that everybody should know especially the le legislators who are trying to come up with the laws the regular uh, regulatory framework for these uh, alternatives that we are we are endorsing and offering to our smokers how can we how can we how can we hope to lessen less than the death tolls every mm -hmm. year. If 4% lang ang quit rate, iisipin na lang, sana nag-iisip lahat, kung pati yung ating mga legislators, 4% lang ang rate. When will we hope to, to eliminate this 1.2 billion smokers from their deadly, deadly vice, deadly habit of smoking? We'll never come to terms with reality na ma-eliminate ma ma natin yan. So, if only... Imagine, uh, if only 10% will switch, 10% of these smokers will switch every year to, to the less harmful alternative. In 10 years, we will see the demise, the death of this deadliest product in the market. Deadliest product ito eh. It's causing death more than any, anything else in the world. Number one cause of preventable death and diseases in the world. Okay. Hindi ba tatayo man lang ng balahibo tong mga tao na nag-iisip na sige, tuloy lang natin yung ginagawa natin, no? Huwag na nat huwag natin tanggapin 'yan kahit na initiated pa ng mga users or consumers 'yan. They they should think. They should they should look at science, they should look at evidence. Okay? That's the only thing we can do and and for us, what we are doing is the right thing. Information dissemination continuous education regarding these uh, narratives about alternatives. Kasi unless may magkakaroon ng ganitong forum or platform, the social media platform, we will be swallowed by the giants in the, in the industry because right. they will try to suppress everything just for them to continue their, ano, their, <coughs> their mal, mal, uh, malevolent businesses. Okay? So that's just... Uh, Yeah, yeah. So, I could so, agree better. Huh? Mm -hmm. We have to uh, yes, just continue yes. with what you're doing. Do it more frequently. We need more of this forum. Sabi ko nga, sana mag-mushroom itong mga ganitong social media platforms discussing about this. Okay? At uh, nawa ito na maging simula, Doktor, sa inyo pong participation ngayon at uh, kami po ni Jamie oh. at uh, sampu na aming kasamahan at uh, ng ating mga Iba pong advocacy groups na kasama natin dito sa ating pinaglalaban 
ay lubod ang lugod na na, na gagalak sa inyo yes. pong uh, uh, pag Google ng inyong panahon para kami ay mahatiran ng mga relevant information na kinakailangan po namin malaman. So para po sa mga karagdagang kaalaman, saan po ba namin kayong mapupuntahan sa Facebook at nang sa ganun ay mailagay namin yung aming like at pamonitor namin ang inyong mga gawain. Uh, I have a Facebook page, Dr. Lorenzo, Dr. Lorenzo Alvarez Mata. And I have my Facebook also, personal Facebook account, which is Doc Lorenzo Mata. So I, I most of the time discuss about these things every now and then. Mm-hmm. Pwede silang, it's very easy. Kailangan lang D-O-C L-O-R-E-N-Z yung kan, Doc Lawrence. Baka mm-hmm. si yung iba, Lawrence ang uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Uh-huh. It's not. It's not. Just That's remove me. the O. Lorenzo kasi yung pangalan ko eh. So, may nakita ko ako, Doctor, eh, itong uh, Quit for Good na Facebook page. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Quit, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quit no? for good is 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 that, that 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 is the one for us for the group. Okay? So okay. Quit for good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it also has the uh, the page and the group, no doc. Like yes, we have Facebook true. page and Facebook group. Mm. Na pwedeng salihan ng mga tao or viewers. Yes, they can natin. join us. They can join us. You can join us. One of the uh, become members of our Quit for Good, and if we we become bigger and bigger. Every year, for example, we will have a voice to contend with in any forum. Because uh, if we don't have so much support from, we just have to have the 17 million smokers in the Philippines to support us. Yeah, right. 17 million. Okay? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a voting voting population of 17 million. Mananalo na tayo sa. Oh, yeah. Sana nga, tayo ng party list, doktor, ha? At, uh, <laughs> Malay mo, si, Ka, si Ka Anton na ang ilalagay natin. <laughs> tayo tayo rin, tayo, tayo tayo. So with that, uh, yeah. uh, Dr. Lawrence Mata, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank yes, you. Pa, thank you so Pleasure much, Doc, today. for your time. We truly appreciate it. I've learned a lot from you, and I know that the viewers as well have learned many things about tobacco harm reduction. It means a lot for us hearing all this from an expert like you. So thank you, Doc. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie. I'm going to okay, Have a good day. Ayan, uh, Jamie. Naku po, napaka... <laughs> yaman ng informasyon na natin yes. binahagi sa atin parang, natin panawin. Kaanton, parang ang sarap niyang i-cut-cut, i- i- cut, then let's repost it because people really need to know all of the information na sinabi ni Doc ngayon. Uh-huh. Sige, yeah. maganda yun. Yeah. yeah. I-cut-cut natin gano'n. Yes. I-gawin <laughs> natin yung viral. Let's post it as a video. Correct. Uh-huh. Correct. Tama-tama rin naman kasi may mga yung ating mga questions ay ipinost natin something like this. Ganyan. Although na yung iba na laktaw, ha? Yeah. <laughs> okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. At nag- ang importante, naging spontaneous yung ating pag- yes. paghahayag at uh, paglalahad at napaka-smooth na ang delivery ni Dr. Lawrence Mata. Sana um, dumami pa ang mga doktor na tulad niya na magtatanggol sa ating uh, mga uh, isinusulong. Kasi alam mo, yung quit or die, ano? Pag yung ang approach na yun, tumigil ka nga ng paninigaril. Yung iba namamatay dahil sa pagtigil. Maniwala ka. <laughs> talaga, talaga po. <laughs> Ganun, talaga, no? pa- paano siya ka, Anton? Nanana ba? Tapos ah, nagkakaroon right, ng stress. Right. Oh, Correct. dahil yung adjustment niya, hindi, bigla mm-hmm. kang abrupt, lalo ng abrupt, yung cold turkey. Biglaan din, opo. Ah, ako, delikado yan. Yung right. ibang doktor nga, hindi nga nagre-recommenda ng cold turkey. Sabi, yung kumbaga tapering. Eh, wala rin mangyayari doon dahil kapag na-stress yung tao, nagkaroon ng problema. <laughs> Tsaka po, what, what, what I don't understand ka, Anton, is marami na po talagang um, nag-try naman mag-quit, pero hindi talaga nila kaya. But still, ayun yung, gina, uh, ayun yung ginagamit or pinupush ng strategy for the smokers to quit. <laughs> Ah, diba? Na- Parang <laughs> hindi naman siya effective pero yun yung pinapush nilang strategy. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, siguro eh, sa tulong ng ating team, eh, makakaroon pa tayo ng mga iba pang mga panawihin at mahingi. Yes, natin, working forward uh, to that. Yeah. So, Jimmy, uh, tayo naman ay magsasarado na. Yes. Maraming, okay. Maraming <laughs> 
There you have it. Thank you so much, Kat Tom Doc. Maraming salamat po sa pag-guest. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Switch Tayo. By the way, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and share this videos to uh, video to your friends and family. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Kat Anton. Uh, okay. This is Benji. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye. Welcome to the first episode of Switch Tayo. It is a live stream show about vaping, heated tobacco, and tobacco harm reduction. Our hosts, Canton Israel of NCUP and millennial advocate Jamie Franco, will lead the interesting discussion about topics that affect millions of Filipinos. The show promises to be a lively exchange of ideas by our dynamic duo who represent different generations. Our special guest in the first episode is